New details are finally in from the Grönland theme park in Stockholm, Sweden regarding their highly anticipated new expansion. This concept art was just released showcasing a brand new area of the park including multiple new attractions and a signature new roller coaster. And if the final product turns out anything like this concept art, then we're in for a real treat because this looks fantastic. So let's dive into everything that we just learned and speculate about some of the things that we still have questions about. Now, first things first, this is actually not the only time that we've received new concept art for an upcoming expansion in the park. Previously, we had this image to work off of, so as you can see, the expansion has always been destined for this plot of land. The actual details of the expansion have absolutely changed, though. If you're unfamiliar with the specifics of Gronoland, the park is situated directly in the heart of Stockholm. It has very little room to expand, so the park is constantly building new attractions on top of each other. The last coaster they built, Monster, is their biggest ride yet, and it was smushed into an area that I didn't think could house a new roller coaster. But from here on out, if they have any hope of adding a new attraction, they have to stretch outside the park boundaries. So they're taking up this old parking lot, the new expansion will be right behind the ABBA Museum on the other side of the street. So the only way that you'll be able to get to this land is via a bridge they will be located on the second floor near Monster. And this is a pretty sizable chunk of land. We're looking at about 280 feet wide by 387 feet long. So that's an area of just over 108,000 feet. The current Grunelund has an area of around 300,000 feet. So this new expansion is a third of the size of the current park. That just shows you how big of a deal this is. Something else I like, they've decided to go with one cohesive theme for this entire area. Specifically, they're merging the past with the future and breathing life into the spirit of innovation and optimism with what characterized the end of the 19th century. They're creating a fair where joy is around every corner for all ages, modeled after the place where the Stockholm exhibition took place in 1897. Which is a great idea for a theme and it's something that I think Grunelund has actually been planning for a while because if you go in the station for Monster, what's one of the posters on the wall? General Art and Industry Exhibition Stockholm 1897. Future Urban City. Guys, I think they've been teasing this for years and we had no idea. So clearly some thought has been put into this. I love the color palette they went with, lots of greens and golds. Grunelund, for the most part, isn't as much a theme park as they are an amusement park. Some rides and attractions have notable themes, and all the buildings and decor are absolutely done up, but it's not what we've seen in the same way as what other theme parks in Europe do. So this is a slightly new direction for them, and I think it's going to pay off. So let's talk new rides and attractions. Now obviously this is concept art, so it is entirely possible that the final product could change, but just from this one rendering, I count between four and five new attractions. So obviously we have the roller coaster, which I'm going to talk about in more detail here in a second. There's a sky view like monorail, which should be really nice. We've seen a bunch of these across the world. Really relaxing, and because the park is right up against the water, I think it should be pretty scenic. In the center of the land is what looks to be a new flat ride for the families. I would guess something from Zamperla. It's tough to see exactly what it is, but clearly they're going all out with it. This isn't going to look like just any run-of-the-mill flat ride. Kind of reminds me of something you'd see at like Tivoli Gardens. And then this is not a ride, but back here you can see this swirl of what I would assume to be a slide. So my guess is that this is some sort of playground attraction in the back for the kids. And then finally, this one's really a wild card, but this building here in the center of the land showcases people walking around this balcony edge and it's tough to say exactly what it is. It could be a restaurant but it also could be some sort of walkthrough attraction. These are very common in Europe and Grunelund already has one but would that stop them from adding a second one? Probably not. So that's something to keep your eye on. And before we dive into the roller coaster I just want to do one last comparison contrasting this image from the previous one we received a couple years ago. Obviously the roller coaster looks significantly different but I love seeing how much this land has evolved. Not only does it have much more of a distinct style to it, but it also looks a lot more full. This previous vision looked nice, but it didn't seem like it was fully taking advantage of the space. This new land is distinctly Grunelund. How can we fit in as much as possible? So bravo, now let's talk about the ride. Originally, it was rumored that Grunelund would be receiving a tilt coaster. A while back, Vekoma revealed that four tilt coasters were in the works. We speculated that those were Kodaland, Six Flags Kidea, Energylandia and Grunelund. Codaland and Six Flags Cadilla are still happening, but as far as we know, Energylandia's has been canceled, and this new vision showcases a Vacoma launch coaster instead of one with a lift hill. So I don't know if that means Grunelund changed their plans, or maybe they were never set to get a tilt coaster, and actually our speculations were just off. But regardless, I actually think that this new ride is going to be a better fit, because first and foremost, they don't have a launch coaster here. The park is home to seven roller coasters, this will be number eight, and in my opinion, it looks to be their most thrilling. It's going to be a long ride. I 
I count four inversions and just some really creative placement, flying over buildings, winding around itself. So let's look a little closer. On the far left hand side of the land you can see what will be the station building. There'll be a left hand turn and if you zoom in that's a bunny hill. So this is not going to be a flat launch section. I think we're going to have a rolling launch into an ejector hill very similar to what we've seen with like Pantheon and Tutatis, which to my knowledge will be a first for Vacoma. Now back in March 2023, Vacoma on their Instagram posted this video showcasing what they call the airtime trebuchet. At the time, we didn't know what it would be for, but after seeing this concept art, it has to be Grunolund. So there's a launch, an airtime hill, and then a second launch with a boost up into your highest moment. And this first element is something that we really haven't quite seen before. The closest comparison I could make to this is either a Mauer Sky Loop, which just has a lift hill dangling you upside down and then you roll over, or what we're getting on the new Voltron coaster going to Europa Park. That's a similar idea with an upwards launch into an inversion. But because you're going to be rising up so high and at such a sharp angle, I think this launch is going to feel less like a launch and more like a controlled ascent. Maybe something like what we have at the Dubai Hills Mall with the Storm Coaster. But assuming that this ride shown in Vacoma's post is for Grunelund, it really shows you just how long you're going to be hanging there upside down. It's pretty drawn out. I think you're going to get a lot of hang time here. Definitely a memorable way to start off the ride. Eventually you'll roll over so you're right side up, you'll be parallel with the ground, but only for a moment because you keep that momentum now twisting to the left downwards into your biggest drop. And that's what will send you into a non-inverting loop. Another kind of similar shaped element, except this one will have more airtime and whip as you're going over. You'll have a lot more momentum, I think. Immediately after, we're going to swoop over the pathway and pass into our next inversion, which I believe to be a cutback. And most of this ride is pretty high off the ground. I think it's going to be really cool being on the main pathways, looking straight up and seeing riders just flying over your head. Exiting the cutback, there's an outer bank hill. To me, it looks very similar to the one that we have on Phonix at Far Up Summerland. At this point, you're going to be directly over the station, winding through the non-inverting loop, wrapping around it, and then rolling over into a corkscrew. The placement of these elements is going to be really, really neat, because just the fact that they've managed to find space for all this is incredible. There's going to be track going everywhere. You're going to bank on this turn, wrapping around part of the cutback, slide through it in what's going to be an ejector airtime hill. And this actually looks like a pretty steep drop off. I imagine being in the back row, this moment is going to be awesome. From here, you wrap around that main flat ride, twist into a hill where you're getting thrown to the left and then sharply back to the right. There's a little bunny hill, this turn over the roof, and then a downwards barrel roll. You're going to descend from the upper level all the way down to the ground. So, Iron Gwazi death roll anyone? This might be Vacoma's take on it. I think you're going to build up quite a bit of speed here and you're going to need it because you're then going to rise back up over the station one more time, take a right hand turn, and then I assume what we're looking at here is the final brake run. So four inversions, at least seven different distinct airtime moments, and I would guess between three and four thousand feet of track. So I can't wait for this new edition. The big question is, when will it open? Well, we know that Grunaland has submitted their building permit applications. I feel like best case scenario, it's going to be a 2026 opening. I think summer 2025 is too soon. If it was just the roller coaster, then maybe. But I think this is way too big a project. They're going to need more time. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's 2027. So this is absolutely a project to keep your eye on. Once this opens, Grunaland will never be the same. I can't wait. This park's future is looking so bright. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of Grunaland. Grunaland's planned park expansion in new Vacoma roller coaster. And of course, stay tuned for more announcement breakdowns and analyses here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.